أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of God, the benefits and the merciful. Chan Sal Asfot Hadrat Khadija Ravanullah Alayha. Years after the passing of Lady Khadija, Salam Miguyat Ke Nam Hadrat Khadija Ra Mukabil Peygamber Khuda Sallallahu Alayhi Wa Alayhi Burdi Hadrat Giriyashu Migire. The Holy Prophet of Islam, in one occasion, started crying in memory of this noble lady. And he said, where can I see someone like Khadija? He stood beside me when everyone denied me. And he and she supported me when everyone abandoned me. These words by the Holy Prophet are so deep and profound. If we knew nothing about Lady Khadija except for these words of the Holy Prophet, that would be enough. The Holy Prophet began saying, Khadija, no one is like Khadija. Whatever the Holy Prophet says is just God's revelation. As the Holy Quran says, he says nothing but a revelation from the Almighty God. So this, these words were the words of God Almighty that were revealed to the Holy Prophet. The Holy Quran also says that the Holy Prophet does not speak out of whim or personal motivations. All Islamic scholars on all branches of this science, they all Use this holy verse to support the idea that God's words were conveyed through the Holy Prophet. And this is the ultimate peak of eloquence. And he, the Prophet, does not speak out of whim or desire. On this verse of Quran, we should ask, are those, is it just about the words of the Holy Prophet, about the Islamic rulings, the history, the Islamic ethics, or the words of the Holy Prophet with respect to the good people? such as this case, should include all of them. So the Holy Prophet does not speak out of whim or desire. That's, that is all a revelation from God. So when the Holy Prophet says, there's no one like Khadija, 
This is a God's revelation. The scholars of Arabic language have commented on these words of the Holy Prophet saying that this means how great and exceptional Lady Khadija was. There is no person like Kharija on this earth or in the heavens. No doubt that the 14 holy infallibles including the Holy Prophet of Islam, the commander of the faithful Imam Ali, peace be upon him, Lady Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, and the 11 Imams from the line of Imam Ali and Lady Fatima, they are excluded from this comparison. However, Lady Khadija can be compared to no one else because she is exceptional. And this is God's and divine revelation. And thus far we can appreciate the greatness of the character of Lady Khadija. And we cannot come across any other words, any other character about whom the Holy Prophet makes such a great statement. There is no one like Kharija. It is actually in Arabic version a rhetoric question which signifies that Lady Khadija is an exceptional character. This sentence alone conveys a world of meanings. She believed my words when everyone refused me and denied me. The Holy Prophet continued with, with these words. Many people refused and denied the invitation of the Prophets to the Holy Faith of Islam, people from his own clan, the clan of the Quraysh. The majority of people refused the Prophet's invitation and they participated in wars against His Holiness. It is said that the Holy Prophet had nine or ten uncles, paternal uncles. Only three of them believed in the Prophet's cause. Abdul Muttalib, Khadija and Abu Talib were the only people who believed in the cause of the Holy Prophet. Of course, Imam Ali was also included, but he was a Muslim from day one. And the Prophet's uncles were Abbas, Abu Talib, who also believed in the faith of Islam. And the rest of the uncles of the Holy Prophet did not believe in Islam. It is said that the Holy Prophet had 
three paternal aunts. And many of them remained pagans. So some of the Prophet's relatives were pagans. However, Lady Kharija, in those times of hardship, believed in the cause of the Holy Prophet, and she assisted the Holy Prophet in this mission. And thirdly, and she supported the Holy Prophet by her wealth. The pagan tradesmen and the business people, many of them were employees of Lady Kharija. They borrowed money from Lady Khadija and did business with it. You can find this story in Bihar al-Anwar that it is said that when some caravans were carrying the wealth of Lady Khadija, there were some people they were piling up the wealth of Lady Kharija. It was so piled up high that they could not see across from it. However, Lady Kharija spent all that money and wealth for the cause of Islam. And it came to the point that Lady Kharija, when she was in the Sheb Valley, she was so desperately in need of a loaf of bread, but she never asked the Holy Prophet for that. She is such a great character. After the passing of the Lady Kharija, the Holy Prophet was for many years upset. And Umm Salama narrates that whenever we mentioned the name of Kharija, the Holy Prophet, the Holy Prophet's eyes became terrible. Even years after the passing of Lady Khadija, Lady Zahra, Fatima Zahra, was also very upset. And even Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein and other holy Imams, they all were upset and they all remembered Lady Khadija. So everyone in every part of the world, they should remember and commemorate Lady Khadija, peace be upon her. They can write books or make programs on TV. They should commemorate her memory. I hope that Almighty God gives this honor to everyone so that we can commemorate and introduce the holy memory of Lady Khadija and hold memorials in her honor. I hope Almighty God helps all believers in all parts of the world to achieve this honor. May God bless Muhammad and his pure household. Oh, 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 oh,